Hi, I'm Baron Stone. I'm a product marketing engineer with National Instruments for NI Flex Reel, and I'm here at NI Week 2011 in the Automated Test Pavilion. I'd like to show you this demonstration we have for NI Flex Reel, where we're testing multiple devices in parallel and using real time inline processing on the FPGA to increase our test throughput. Uh, so, to talk you through the setup we have here, we have a function generator producing a stimulus waveform, which we've routed down to our three devices under test, which are three programmable gain amplifiers or PGAs. Uh, the signal is coming into those, and then we're taking the output from those PGAs and routing it up to an NI5734 digitizer adapter module. Uh, we're also routing back a feedback from that stimulus signal as well. So we have four channels on the NI5734 digitizer adapter module, which are being sampled at 120 mega samples per second with 16 bits of resolution. And in short, what that means is we have 960 megabytes per second of data being produced by this uh, adapter module, which is more than we would want to stream back to the host uh, and could do processing on the host for. So that's where the FPGA comes in. Uh, we're using the NI Flex Rio and LabVIEW FPGA to do inline processing. We're taking the averaging on our records. We're doing the FFT on all of those averaged uh, records. And then we're also doing spectral measurements, including signal to noise ratio, signal to noise and distortion, and spurious free dynamic range. So let me show you here the host VI we have. Uh, all those measurements, again, taking place on the FPGA, and then only the results of those measurements being sent up to the host for display. Uh, so you can see we have. Uh, four different uh, lines here showing each of the, the stimulus signal being fed back as well as the output from each one of our DUTs. Uh, I can select here the number of averages we want to change uh, as well as you can see the, the frequency spectrum and the results of, of changing those averages. So to demonstrate what the effects are, if I turn off averaging, you'll see we have a noise floor around negative 100 dBm, um, quite low, less, less than we would, or quite, quite high, less than we would want. Um, but by increasing averaging and doing this all in hardware on the FPGA, you can see the effects. The noise floor drops down to about negative 130 dBm, uh, and that puts us in the pass range for our tests. Uh, also to demonstrate the, the spectral measurements we have here, uh, if I turn one of these programmable gain amplifiers uh, up to the point where it's going to become clipping, you'll notice we have harmonics in our frequency spectrum, uh, and then that, of course, also disrupts the, uh, the spurious free dynamic range as well as our signal-to-noise ratios. So in short, the benefits of using the FPGA here is we're taking in a lot of data. Uh, by processing inline in the FPGA, we're, we're processing on every single point of data that comes through our system. Uh, and then that relieves the stress on the host by just sending back the results of those measurements. Uh, and we can process on the FPGA a lot faster as well. So that's all I have to say. Thanks.